Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead here across the Arklatex as we do have a cloudy sky across the region watching a cold front which is entering the area producing a few scattered showers across the region. Might see a little bit of thunder later on today as this is associated with an upper level disturbance that is approaching from the north and west. You can see the overall pattern here showing you the upper level disturbance right in here. Uh, this is what's going to uh, push the cold front through the region, and we should very quickly clear out here once this frontal system moves through later on tonight. Then our attention will turn to this disturbance, which is now off to our west. This is going to slide its way basically across the uh, southern half of the country and bring us a better chance for more widespread rains as we look ahead to Thanksgiving Day. It now is becoming apparent that we're going to see just one wave of rain from this system as it should very quickly move through and as a result models have backed off a bit on the amount of rain that we might see. Let's take you through the next few days here with uh, Robin Sawyer to Futurecast and you can see that we are going to be looking at some scattered showers as the cold front moves through the region during the rest of the Sunday and Sunday evening. We should clear out tonight and then heading through Monday. Expect lots of sunshine. Temperatures will be cooler as we'll see highs for the most part tomorrow. That will be in the low to middle 60s. We will see a clear sky with the wind dying down Monday night. That's going to allow temperatures to dip back into the 30s. And then Tuesday we begin a warming trend. More of a south to southeasterly wind will combine with sunshine to warm us back up into the middle 60s. And then we'll see an even warmer day for Wednesday as highs return to the 70s. Moving ahead to Thanksgiving, let's take a look at the weather pattern once again and move things forward. You can see our first disturbance moving through. It's going to usher in some drier air. And then here comes that next disturbance. You can see it off to our west by Thursday morning, Thanksgiving. It's going to produce some showers and a rumble of thunder will be possible. We're not looking at any uh, severe weather. And you can see how quickly the rain associated with this disturbance will move out of the region. And then we'll see the northwesterly flow reestablish itself. Drier air will return. And the rest of Thanksgiving weekend is now looking mild uh, during the day and rather cold at night as we could see some of the coldest air of the season so far uh, come Saturday morning. And then moving forward into next week, another disturbance will give us a shot for some rain Tuesday and maybe Wednesday of next week. As far as rainfall potential here in the next 10 days, this is what the various models are showing. Most of this will occur Thanksgiving again. Today's cold front, probably less than a tenth of an inch if you get some rain today. But you can see the uh, lower numbers here indicated with, with all the models here uh, with the Thanksgiving disturbances. Uh, at most, an inch and a half. Most locations, an inch or less, the way it's looking right now. So here's a look at your forecast for tonight. We're going to be looking at the clouds moving out. Any rain will quickly end this evening. Temperatures will fall into the upper 30s to lower 40s north and the mid to upper 40s south. 49 degrees for the low tonight in Natchitoches. 47 in Shreveport. 42 degrees in Texarkana. Tomorrow, looking at lots of sunshine. It'll be uh, mild tomorrow with temperatures that will be fairly close to normal, a few degrees below normal as we top out in the low to middle 60s, 60, 65 in Shreveport, 62, 63 in Texarkana, and 64 degrees for the high temperature in Minden. Again, even colder temperatures on the way tomorrow night as we will dip into the mid to upper 30s. And then your 10-day forecast shows a, a brief warming trend for Tuesday and Wednesday as high as Tuesday, mid to upper 60s, low to middle 70s for Wednesday. With the rain around, we turn cooler Thanksgiving, and you can see the 30s, 34 for the nighttime low Friday night. Lots of sunshine through the rest of the weekend and Monday, and then we'll see the possibility for some rain for the middle part of next week. So all in all, a few scattered showers possible for the rest of the Sunday. Sunshine returns uh, to start Thanksgiving week with our next best chance of rain probably occurring Thanksgiving.